I'm going to show you how to put any cool image or video background into your videos using the Camtasia Remove a Color effect. And I'm also including five awesome tips to help you get great results. This will help you to take the production quality of your videos up to the next level. And we're diving in right now. Hey, what's up? It's Gord here and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your video creator and marketing skills and get some great inspiration along the way, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing. Green screening, chroma keying, or removing a color is really a cinch to do once you've done it a few times. There are just a few basic steps to keep in mind while you tune the color removal and if you follow these few steps, you'll have a crisp, clean looking background in place every time. Real quick, I'm just curious to know, are you a green screen user? And if so, do you use green screening often or just occasionally in your videos? Let me know down in the comments. Tips for keying. To remove or key the background color, you'll need to import the clip to your video editor timeline. My example here is done with the Camtasia 9 video editor. Place the image or the video clip that you would like to show in place of the keyed color on the track below. In Camtasia, apply the Remove a Color visual effect, which is the key filter, to your clip and then select the color you wish to remove from the drop down menu. I just use the eyedropper tool to select the exact hue off the background. I like to select a background color that is close by the subject's hair to set the base to key out. Then you can use the tolerance, softness, hue, and defringe parameters to tune things by eliminating the green edges or halos and grainy areas. If you're unhappy with the result, consider resetting and choose another color or hue from the background in another location and try the process of tuning again. The overriding key to success here is getting the green screen lighting right so that the recorded image or video can be nicely tuned through the remove a color process, yielding a great looking result. For a deeper dive on how to set up the green screen and create the best lighting setup, be sure to watch my green screen video. See the YouTube card on screen now. Now let's look at the five tips for fine tuning the parameters. Tip number one, don't remove too much color. The further to the right that you move the tolerance slider, the greater the range of tints and shades that are being removed. So you want to try and find the balance between removing too much color and retaining the visual integrity of your image or video in the foreground. When I am adjusting the tolerance slider, I will often do a white color test. In other words, I will set a white background as the color that will replace the color I am removing because it has great contrast with the green, making it easier to see how well the color removal is working. Then, after testing, I can set in the image or video clip that I want to be in place for the color I removed and do any further fine tuning. Tip number two, use crop mode. Use crop mode to remove any parts of a video clip that you don't need. Be sure that you allow for the movement of your subject throughout the clip so that you're not cutting anything out. Once you're finished with the keying, you can switch out of crop mode and then resize the image or video clip as you desire. Tip number three, match the foreground and the background color tone. Use the hue slider to help tune the subject color to better match with the background. For example, this tuning works well to adjust skin tones to look better with the background and appear more natural. Tip number four, always test the keying before you do the full shoot. It's always advisable to do a test shoot with the green screen and test the keying out of the color to be sure that it looks right before you do a long recording. The last thing you need to do is discover later in post-production editing that part of the video you recorded does not key out well, pushing you to either have to reshoot parts of the video or do other editing tricks. Tip number five, check for shadows. A moving subject can cast shadows at various times during a clip. This movement may result in a different hue showing up. For this reason, it's a good idea to test the clip in a number of spots to be sure that the parameter settings, especially the tolerance level, is sufficient. Of course, the ultimate solution here is to have your lighting dialed in so that no shadows appear. Wow, 
That was a nice set of tips on how to succeed with the remove a color effect in Camtasia to add awesome backgrounds to your videos. If you want more cool tips on creating better videos from home, click on the link for my free ebook. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button on this page so that you can get more videos just like this in the future. And thanks so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.